counselor giving an advice to a lady who has two lovers. She's torn between two lovers and she's confused on what to do. As a counselor, let's see if my advice goes far or goes well. Please don't forget to download the GMB app on the Google Play Store or text on HEMA O H E M A to the shared code 1413 on all networks. Onya kupon on shirahunjina. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, viewers at home. Welcome. This is TV3 live from Addisawe, Kanda. And tonight, we have the Real Talk Show, which is the only television relationship talk show that gives answers. My name is MC Bobby, and I will be your host. And as always, we have a very special guest that comes in as an expert to advise people that have problems and issues that we discuss. And tonight, I have with me a very beautiful woman. Her name is Ohima from the Bruno Ahafa region. Ohima is an expert. She's also a counselor, relationship and marriage counselor, she'll be precise. And uh, she has years of experience. You look pretty. Welcome to my studio, honey. Thank you very much. And I'm sure you've had a wonderful night so far. Yes. Good to know. Are you ready for some questions? Yes, please. Bring Trust. it on. I should bring it on. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> That's exactly what I do here. I'm going to share with you what a viewer sent us. Okay. And then you give us your advice. Okay. Here we go. Dear Row Talk, I have two guys who are desperate to settle with me. Atakojo is wealthy, but not educated. Richmond, on the other hand, is caring, loving, and romantic, but not good looking. <laughs> I like them both, Bobby. I'm confused. Please advise me if you can tonight. So this is what she sent in. Ohima. You are an expert. What would you tell this viewer of mine? Bobby, do you know that this is a very important issue that we need to address in our society? Oh, I think. It's important because it is this same kind of decisions, if and when not taken right, leads our younger people into wrong marriages, which they later tend to fall out quickly, causing high rates of divorce in our country. And then last year, just last year, before I joined Ghana's Most Beautiful, mm. the rate of divorce in Ghana statistically Annually, it's over 4,000, which isn't even the worst part. The worst part is the rate of occurrence is exponential. This is sad, Bobby. But tonight, thanks for inviting me here. As a counselor, I would like to use this as an opportunity to send a message of advice to the youth out there that before you make these keen decisions, please be mindful. Let's take the powerful quote of this great philosopher and poet, Robert Louis Stevenson, he says, and I quote, mm. that sooner or later, we all will sit down to the banquet of consequences. And the decisions we make today, we'll have to pay for it tomorrow. I so see. please, be smart in your decision making. But we'll be back to the question. Okay. You, you, you said that Atakojo is what? Wealthy, yeah, I mean, but not educated. Uh, I think I'd like to educated. take it one after the no other. No problem. Okay, so with Atakojo, um, I would like to understand that the descriptions that this lady gave mm. with the men are the weaknesses and strengths that she identified in both of them. If so, as a counselor, I'd also want to know what her own strengths and weaknesses are as a person. I always tell my, tell my clients that you should know and understand who you are per first. And then you know the kind of choices you make that will complement your own personality. I see. You get it? I get I it. I know as an individual mm. that I am faithful, I'm passionate, and then most of all, I'm helpful. I that see. is what the Bible says every woman should do. In the book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, the Bible said that when God saw that man was alone, he said, it is not good for man to be alone. I will therefore make him a helper whom he will be comparable to. And ladies and gentlemen, this helper turned out to be we women. If women understood that our primary motive on this earth is to be helpful, then we'd have made great choices. Now, Atakojo is wealthy but not educated. Not educated. The All other right. brother is romantic, I mean, but he doesn't look good. Atakojo is wealthy but not educated. Mm. How does the girl help him? You know, okay. at, at least I think he's, he was smart enough and intelligent enough to get some money to make some wealth. But then, yeah, considering you as a life partner that he wants to um, ch choose, then how do you help him grow? You no, know, initially you have to help him manage, okay. grow, uh -huh. and then expand his empire or his wealth. How do you help him do that? You know, no. Let's start with this. I'd want you, 
as a woman mm. to know the source of the world. It is very important. <laughs> 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 so you know the word of this, um, the source of this word. If it's genuine, then you can go ahead, ahead to help him. Now, in helping him, how do you do this? You inspire him. You encourage him. You come down to his level. I mean, you're educated. He isn't. I assume the lady is educated. Basically. You come down to his level, explain to him, and teach him. Educate him gradually. And who knows? Maybe he'll pick inspiration from you to want to pursue higher education or formal education one day. And that is the value we are looking for in women. I mean, there are a lot of um, wealthy but uneducated men in Ghana who are contributing very well to their society through infrastructure development and then youth employment. I, this thing comes to play. A forensic psychiatry practice lecture by Dr. Humberto Lucero in Argentina. Mm -hmm. He Tell made a statement that perfectly comes to play in this scenario. Okay. He said that you only have to complement each other. Education exalts the spirit, whilst wealth calms the nerves. So it's a two-way thing here. Small, small, grow yeah, together. You, small, get small. It. you bring what you have, and I bring what you have, and then we grow together. So does that mean we should simply go for um, the wealthy man but not educated. You know, for the other man, the yeah, caring the other, the and romantic caring, but no. not good looking man. You, what is care? How does he care here? Is it that the little that he has, he's willing to share, or that the time and attention he gives to you that umhubida? You need to ask yourself, you know, as a counselor, mm. I keep telling my people that you need to be realistic and practical in your decision making. I see. This is because if you fall out of fantasy world, you come to reality, and the reality sets in. How long can he be caring to you? Is it a, a, so he gets a new job that will keep him busy, that he won't give you the, ten, the time attention he gives you? Or is it that, um, so when you guys get into a serious fight and then you are all angry at each other? Mm. Let's be realistic here. And about being romantic, um, Bobby, yeah. if this lady uh -huh. is picking romance as a measure to, to, to qualify somebody as a future husband, okay, not. let me say, if she's choosing a source of intimacy as a measure, instead of the value to pursue an ideal cause, then I will tell her that she has failed t totally. She I has see. failed initially. Because the Bible says in the book of Psalm chapter 11 verse 3, that if the um, beginning mm. or if the start is corrupt, what then can prayers do? You know, we have women in churches praying, hey, ba, 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 da, hey, ba, ba, ba. my husband has changed, you can ask his son. And then I, I keep telling them that it is because they started on a corrupt ground. And then at this level, prayers cannot do anything, Bobby. So mm. please, please and please, romance is not, uh, being romantic is not a basic or yastic to choose a life partner. This is somebody you will spend the rest of your life with. It makes sense. Let's be realistic and practical here. Makes you get sense. it? it Just, you owe your father, ladies, you owe your father, the, your, your children, the best daddy in the world. Please take note. I see. Um, I don't know. Maybe the viewer has had her question answered. I, I, I pray so. I think I left the good looking or whatever out. Yeah, the good looking part. My dear, this is something neither you nor I can change. We can't make him look good. We can't take him through a surgery or anything. But I want you to ask yourself this question. Is this something that you want to live for the rest of your life with? Mm. You're going to have children with this person. If uh, it's not good looking to you, I mean... It will be the beauty and the beast situation, <laughs> don't worry. Okay, but then consider this. If this is the kind of person you want to spend the rest of your life with, it's your call. So, I mean, it looks like the only slice on the viewer. Yeah. I think you have said enough, and uh, I will thank you for your time. Ohima from the Bono Half Region, thank you so much. My guest for the night, right here on Real Talk on TV3, First in News, Best in Entertainment. The show is probably brought to us by Enapom Macro, Ed Death Soko Soko. My name is MC Bobby. See you next week. Great. And MC Bobby is live on your radio on 3FM 92.7, Monday to Friday, from 4 p.m. all the way to late p.m. And you can always tune into the Easy Stream show. MC Bobby, thank you. A round of applause for Ohima. Let's hear from you, Judge Linda. Hello, Hema. I enjoyed your presentations very much. Um, all the points you raised were good. I think they were really on point. Um, you said every important thing that every young woman needs to hear before they enter marriage. In fact, you said things that even women in marriage it will be good for all of us. You did good. I think you make a good counselor. You can consider that. <laughs> okay. Counselor, counselor. Judge Benny, let's hear from you. 
Yes, uh, welcome back, Ohima. Uh, it's always a pleasure to see you. I uh, support what uh, Judge Linda said. Uh, I think you did a good job. Uh, the, the, the person that asked the question, I, don't, I think you left, you left in limbo. You, 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 you didn't prescribe any cause of action. You just said, you know, I mean, maybe I should ask you, what, what exactly are you saying to this person? I'm, okay. I'm saying that it's her call to choose amongst them. But then I want her to be practical and realistic in selecting the kind of man she wants to spend the rest of her life with. Because if you fall out of fantasy and you come to reality, care and being romantic is not a yardstick to choose someone you want to spend the rest of your life with. But as a counselor, I can't choose for her. I'll leave the decision to her to make. Okay, so that's your answer to her. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's, that's good. Uh, that, that is an, an answer. She might, it may not be what she's looking for, but it is, it is an answer you've given her. Just, just a quick note. Uh, you, you suggested that perhaps if she settled for this person that was uneducated, uh, then they could help them, you know, as if they had some sort of a, a disability, uh, you know, to be helped out of. Uh, I'm, a, I'm in education, so I need to clarify this. There is informal education as well. Education is not totally formal. And most and marriage, you would be shocked, that thrives quite a lot on just the simple things. You don't need a PhD to be, to, you know. In fact, the more educated, there is, there is evidence that, you know, a lot of marriages uh, end as a result of ego and conflict that comes with, you know, uh, the higher up you go. So it's not the yardstick to measure that uh, the more educated you are, you know, the better it will be. If you are able to just do the, the simple things. Sometimes it works magic. You mean too much eye open sound sound going down? <laughs> okay. No, I'm think I'm I'm thinking you answered that question that way because obviously it's a bother. She finds that an issue. So because the man is not educated, she's not sure whether she wants to marry. I think that's why she's saying that you can help your spouse educate themselves. Yes, it could be informal, it could be formal. You can help them, encourage them, help them with coursework and so forth and so on. Men do same. So why not the other way around? You understand? So I, I, I'm right, am I? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Ohima. Thank you as well.